Hello value viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today's video is the South African Railways Class 26, The Red Devil. Enjoy. The year is 1982, and many people still regard steam locomotives as the only proper motor power to ever exist, with any other kind of motor power being a replacement or not true. And that would include the likes of diesel motor power and electric motor power, etc. And yet, at the same time, we all know the drawbacks of using steam locomotives. It's low thermal efficiency, it's labor intensiveness, and it's dirtiness. Of course, the low thermal efficiency can be countered by use of less costly fuels, and in some countries, oil costs four times more than coal for the same heat content, and this more than cancels out the better efficiency of diesel. And on the same hand, the amount of fuel wasted by a steam locomotive can be made by making small improvements. And since the dirt and grime connected with steam operations represents waste, less waste automatically means less pollution too. And now here enters the Red Devil. And the first thing we'll mention about the Red Devil was the locomotive itself was named after L.D. Porta, who was the Argentinian engineer uh, responsible for the basics of the system found in the Red Devil. And if you watch my A3000 video, the name is recognizable because he was part of that committee who was making up the design team for that particular modern steam locomotive. So the Red Devil was an attempt to produce a steam locomotive for the 21st century by rebuilding a class 25 NC 484, which was a class built by the Henshaw in North British in 1953. The principal change in design was the way the locomotive burned coal. The idea was to gasify the coal before any of it was burnt. Other altercations made to the design were more fine-tuning, and all of this was carried out in the South African Railway's Salt River workshops at Cape Town at a very modest cost at that. So outside of the way the coal was being burnt, the first big change is that now less than half of the air is needed for combustion that enters the firebox to the fire itself. The amount of reduction being set by smaller and exactly calculated openings between the bars of the grate. This change cuts down waste by eliminating fire throwing when the locomotive is working hard. Steam was also fed into the hot firebed from the sides. This comes from the auxiliaries and from the exhausted side of the main cylinders where it reacts chemically with a hot coal to produce cleanly combustible water gas, while at the same time the reaction is one which absorbs rather than produces heat. So the temperature of the firebed does not reach the level at which fusion takes place in the clinker forms. The air passing through the hot but not too hot firebed makes producer gas in, in this mixture of gases which burns cleanly using air entering through the openings in the side of the firebox. It should be noted that the existing mechanical stoker was retained. That's simply because the hard labor running steam power is reduced both when putting in the fuel and when taking the residues out. Other notable improvements made uh, included increased superheat, which happened as a consequence of providing uh, improved cylinder lubrication, better droughting, and a feed water heater, all of which contributed to the further improvement in thermal efficiency. And add that to the contribution made by the avoidance of unburnt fuel and the residues of combustion, and that gives the startling result of one-third less fuel burnt for a given output. The maximum power output is increased, whilst both the quantity and the difficulty of disposal of the residues is considerably reduced. The result is a machine that can really look its diesel brethren in the eye in respect of such important matters as availability and cleanliness and really wipe the floor with them when it comes to fuel costs in the South African conditions. And right here I'm going to acknowledge that David Wardale was also a mechanical engineer mostly responsible for the rebuilding of the Red Devil into what it became along with Porta. And if that name sounds familiar, he too was uh, a principal involvement with the Ace 3000 uh, locomotive that we know from a previous video of mine. So with that, we'll go further back into the Red Devil's history. The Sart uh, Class 25 and the 25NC were a group of 140 484 locomotives purchased by the South African Railways, and they were delivered between 1953 and 1955 by the Henshaw and Sohn, as well as the North British Locomotive Company. 
These new 484s featured the all then contemporary American improvements. One piece cast steel frame with integral cylinders, roller bearings on all axles in motion, as well as mechanical and pressure lubrication. The last built class 25 NC number 3450 entered service in 1953, built by the Henshaw and Sohn construction number 28697. And even though the South African Railway Management had already decided to replace all steam traction with electric and or diesel electric power, Wardale was determined to show that the efficiency of steam locomotives could be greatly increased. Sounds familiar with the Ace 3000 project. And with the help of Porta, Wardale set about on a major modification program that included the installation of the gas producer combustion system that we talked about earlier. And so, at the end of 1979, the rebuilding of number 3450 to a brand new Class 26 began. Several South African Railway mechanical facilities were involved in producing new parts or of modifying existing parts, including Salt River in Cape Town, Bloefontein, Beaconsfield in Kimberley, Sport in Pretoria, and with that, the modification work had three main goals. Number one, improve the combustion efficiency and increase the steam production. Number two, reduce smoke emissions. And number three, eliminate clinker problems in the firebox. Once these modifications were completed, during testing, the Red Devil locomotive proved capable of, of achieving nearly 5,000 drawbar horsepower, and that was believed to be the highest output attained by any locomotive on Cape Gauge, which is 3 foot 6 inches. In comparison, the Red Devil was capable of the following improvements against the unmodified 484 of the 25NC class. A 28% reduction in coal consumption, a 30% savings in water consumption, and a 52% increase in drawbar horsepower. And equally impressive is that the locomotive ended up being cheaper to maintain and operate than diesel electric lo locomotives on the railroad due to, in large part, to its modern construction, the low cost of fuel, and the application of advanced water treatment. Now what I find kind of questionable about all this was the fact that the comparisons are being made to previous steam locomotives and not against current diesel performance. So until I see those numbers, you know, I'm not going to get too excited that the steam, you know, locomotion can be as efficient and cost effective as diesels are. You know, the numbers in, aren't just aren't in front of me. So to me, without making actually true accusations, this seems kind of like a cherry picking type of thing, you know, to favor steam over diesels uh, by enthusiasts, but who knows, it's just me. But the improvements against previous steam locomotive uh, designs is unquestionable, that much is certain. So the Red Devil was removed from frontline service in 2003 and it was announced earlier in 2016 that the Red Devil was moved from storage at Mon Monument Station in Cape Town to a restoration facility for res restoration to operation. The locomotive is set to be used in conjunction with the Sears Rail Company excursion operation, which is hauling trains on the main line between Cape Town and Wolseley. It is unclear whether the locomotive, which had been significantly demodified, will be rebuilt as its original 25 NC appearance or converted back into the Class 26 Red Devil appearance. And after modification and rebuilding in 2018, the Red Devil began excursion service during the winter months in South Africa with the excursion route being between Cape Town and Robertson. So with that, the following specifications apply to the South African Railways number 3450 Red Devil as modified by David Wardale and LD Porta. The general wheel arrangement was 484. The cylinders were 24 by 28 inches. The main drivers were 60 inches. Boiler pressure was 225 pounds. The grade area square feet was 70. The engine weight was 222,400 pounds. The heating surface in square feet was 3,104. The superheater square feet was 1,014. Drawbar horsepower was 4,023. The tractive effort was 52,000 pounds. The builder was Henschel. The date rebuilt was 1981. The axle load was 18 long tons. The tender weight was 105 long tons. The tender's water capacity was 47,700 liters. The length of the locomotive was 91 feet 6 and 19 16 inches. The height of the locomotive was 13 feet. The adhesive weight over the drivers was 74 long tons or 75,440 kilograms. I do not have a factor of adhesion ratio and the class of the locomotive was 
26. And with that, I shall end this video and I shall thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed today's content, please leave a like on the like button and also if you've not subscribed please do so as both features help the channel grow immensely and don't forget to hit the super thanks uh, button if you want to contribute to the channel's efforts and if you don't want to do it that way visit our print shop at nickelplate limited on etsy.com and we thank you once again